life. I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are gonna turn this blouse and skirt into a super cute shirt dress. I just love shirt dresses for fall, so I think these two pieces are gonna make an awesome upcycle. This outfit is a part of Upcycling September, where I'm creating 30 different upcycles in 30 days. And you can follow the adventure with following the hashtag Upcycling September. And make sure you hop on over to Instagram because I am posting everything on Instagram every single day in reels and posts and stories. So don't forget the hashtag Upcycling September at Zoe Anastasia. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you already subscribe to Sewing Anastasia, thank you so much for subscribing and following me on my sewing adventures. Also, I'm now teaching sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out at SewingAnastasia.com. So I've got this polyester shirt from the 70s, which is way too big on me, but I love the color, duh, it's pink. And I've got this long maxi quilted skirt from the 70s as well. I just love the print on this. I think it is so cool. And together, you know, they match, but this is not a winning look overall. Do not love it. So what I wanna do is tailor up the blouse, chop it at the waist, chop the skirt, gather it all up, make it super cute and poofy, and then we are gonna have an amazing shirt dress. It's gonna look like it's right off the runway. So I'm gonna attach this blouse to the skirt to make a shirt dress. The first thing we need to do in this process is tailor up the blouse so the bodice of the dress fits just how I want it to, woo! Also, I just put out a video on how to tailor up a blouse, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions about tailoring up a blouse. The first thing we need to do is turn this blouse inside out and pin up all the darts, take in the side seams, basically get rid of all that excess with the pins. I have my blouse inside out, and now what I'm gonna do is pin a dart under the bust. I'm gonna mark the waistline so that way I can cut it off at the waistline. I'm going to be taking it in at the side seams and raising the armhole just a little bit. And then in the back, we have a lot of loosey-goosey blousiness back here. So I'm also gonna go ahead and put in a few darts here, also marking the waistline so that way I can chop off the shirt at the waistline to attach that skirt. So we are going to pin the heck out of this shirt and tailor it up. So I've got my giant stick of pins and I'm ready to start pinning. All right, let's start pinning. Here we go, we are all finished. Now that I have it all pinned off, I'm just gonna draw a chalk line right at the waist. And then after that, we can take it off the dress form and take it over to our table and mark up all the spots that we pin. So I'm just gonna be chalking right at the bottom of the twill tape on the dress form. There we go, all done. I've got my chalk and I am going to chalk both sides of the pins on the side seams and all the darts on the shirt. Now that I've chalked where all the pins were, I can go ahead and remove the pins. Next, I'm going to cut off the bottom of the shirt. So remember, I chalked at the waist, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow that chalk line and cut off all that extra fabric. Now that we have the hem cut off and all of our darts marked, it's time to head over to the sewing machine. You can see my chalk lines for my dart. And so now what we wanna do is fold our fabric right sides together and we wanna line up those chalk lines for the dart and pin them. And then what we're gonna do, make sure they're even when you pin it. After you put the pins in, we're gonna sew all the way up, blending off the fabric at the very tip. And this is what I'm gonna do to all my darts on the shirt. Time to sew up some darts. Thank you. 
The dart is looking great, front and back. You can see how we followed that chalk line all the way up and then blended right off of the fabric. When you blend off the fabric, you're gonna get a nice smooth line right into your existing fabric. And that's exactly what we want to do to the rest of our darts. Now that we have all the darts sewn up, let's go ahead and take in the side seams right where our chalk lines are. To sew up the side seam, we're going to follow our chalk line and we're going to blend right off into the arm. The side seam is looking great. Now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. The shirt is looking so good all tailored up. I can totally picture this turning into a shirt dress now. Now we're gonna move on to the skirt portion of the dress. So I've already removed the zipper and the waistband from this skirt. Now what I need to do is open up the rest of the seam here for center back so that it's one big piece. And then what I'm gonna do is cut it in half, which makes it 18 inches long, which is perfect for the skirt of this dress. So this is working out wonderfully. And then we're gonna serge all the edges and add the skirt to the top here and go ahead and add a zipper to the side seam and make it a dress. I'm seam ripping open that seam that's right below where the zipper was so that way I can lay my fabric flat Now that I have the fabric opened all the way up, we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half and then sew it together. And that's gonna make one really long piece of fabric that I can gather up and sew to the shirt to make the skirt. So many beautiful gathers in volume. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so I have my fabric folded in half and I'm gonna use my scissors to cut right up this fold here. Now that we have these two really long pieces of fabric, what we need to do is serge all the edges so that way they're nice and clean finish and not gonna fray on me when I'm sewing them together. I'm also gonna serge the hem and the side seams of the blouse as well. So let's get serging. Now that we have everything all surged, the edges are looking great. So we're gonna sew these two long pieces of quilted fabric together, and then we're gonna gather it up. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so we're gonna sew up these two pieces of fabric right sides together. Now I've got one super long piece of fabric that we can gather up. I'm going to be using the zigzag method for gathering this up, and if you don't know how to do that, it's super awesome. Make sure you check out my video on it. Okay, let's zigzag it up. Okay, the fabric is all gathered up and I'm loving it. I love the volume to it. I love the crispness to it with the quilting. It gives it such an interesting volume. This is not gonna be a flat skirt. So I'm super excited about it. The next thing I need to do is attach the skirt to the shirt. So let's go ahead and do that. So I left open the side seam on the shirt so that way I can get an invisible zipper in here next. So I'm gonna be pinning the skirt all the way around the waist, but it's from side seam to side seam. And make sure you have a right sides together when you're pinning your skirt to your shirt. Okay, we are all pinned up and ready to sew it together. Now I'm going to be sewing these two layers together and when I'm sewing this, I wanna make sure that I'm sewing right outside that zigzag stitch that I used to create the gather. Okay, let's do it. And 
done with that. Ah, the skirt is attached to the shirt and it looks amazing. I love the fullness. I love the bounciness of the skirt. So we only have a few things left. We're gonna put in the invisible side seam zipper and hem it. If you don't know how to put in an invisible zipper, make sure you check out my video on how to do that. So I'm going to be putting the zipper in the side seam here and it's gonna go all the way up to the armpit about five eighths of an inch below it. So you can totally put zippers in side seams. Some people don't know this, but they're awesome because then you get a nice clean back. And then I'm gonna close up the hole that's gonna be left at the bottom of the skirt below the zipper. So let's go ahead and put this zipper in. I've got the zipper in the side seam and it is looking awesome. So let's zip it up and check it out. Looks great. Now all we have to do to finish it is hem it and then we can try it on and check it out. So I'm gonna hem up the entire sweeping hem. It's finished and it is so cute. I love this skirt on this so much. It is so fun. I think I'm gonna start looking for really big skirts and cool tops that match, so that way I can combine them and make all kinds of shirt dresses. Because this is so cute, and it is so me. Tailoring up the shirt worked really great. I love the darts, we took it in at the side. We've got our zipper that we added. I love all of these gathers on the waist. It is so adorable. I love how flouncy and fluffy the skirt is. So, so cute. This upcycle was part of Upcycling September where I'm taking 30 looks and transforming one every single day. So that means 30 outfits in 30 days. So crazy, right? And we are almost at the end of September. So if you wanna check out everything that I've been creating, make sure you go over to Zoe Anastasia on Instagram and also follow the hashtag Upcycling September so you can check all of the upcycles out. And if you're upcycling, make sure you tag your projects Upcycling September so that way everyone else can find them and share them. If you're not already a subscriber to Zoe Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a follower, thank you so much for watching all of my videos. Also, don't forget, you can come into my studio and take sewing classes with me. So cool, right? So make sure you check out all the classes at SoeAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.